Greg Sekmistrenko grew up in Saskatchewan, but left to defend Ukraine, the country of his birth, from Russia. Among those at the funeral, fellow foreign volunteers who put their lives in danger to retrieve his body from the battlefield. And I see in your eyes that Greg, he wants to sometimes earn your respect. His father, Vitaly, said his thirst for adventure and spirituality infused him with the readiness to risk his life to help others in need. I've never seen a soldier fight as well as he's fought. Anton, a fellow Canadian whose last name we're not using, was his commander. They were together in hellish Bakhmut at the end, participants in a bloody, grinding, ongoing war of attrition. First RPG hit, three members of the team went down in critical condition. Greg, right away, went over to assist the second RPG hit. But since Greg is a very big individual, while he was assisting with medical care, he absorbed most of the blast. Even here, though, there was no respite from Russia's war as air raid sirens sounded during the funeral. This is not going to sway us all, sway myself or the team from continuing to defend Ukraine. Amongst the mourners was Andrei Shevchenko, Ukraine's former ambassador to Canada, a close family friend. And I think his life and his sacrifice is a manifestation of very good things that we cherish both in Canada and in Ukraine. Courage, bravery, but also empathy and also commitment to freedom. He was ready to serve, he loved, he was thoughtful, he was just great son and great friend of mine. Ukraine's war casualties are secret, but they are high and getting worse, and there are few families in this country that by now have not been touched by such deep loss. Chris Brown, CBC News, Kyiv.